going to do today is uh, replace this wiper motor here and see if we can get the windshield wiper working on this side. So let's go ahead and get started. I've taken the two ground wires off on this side, released the power cord so there we can remove it. What the problem is here is this has got the uh, piece broke off that rotates back and forth on the wiper. So we're just going to go ahead and scrap this whole thing and get us a new one. I got my new motor here. This one's a little different, but it's got all the stainless here, but it's got more speeds than the other one. That's the way it was. Don't know that I would have done it that way from the start, but what it is is we've got our uh, we've got our power where it's coming in to hide in the ground here and here. We've got a ground going over to the other wiper motor and uh, then we've got our ground going to this one. Now this one here has it's got park low and high so and take a look at the video. I'll show you how we set this up. Okay how this wiper motor works is let's take the screws out here and I'll show you. Okay we're going to lift the cover with the gasket. What you do is you take this clip out. Okay, let's push the clip off. Okay. Then you raise this arm up. Let's take this arm up. And each one of these holes here is labeled with degrees. 50, 40, 100, 100, 60, 90. And you just put it in the hole that you want. I had this in 80, which I'm going to change it to 90. Okay, you take these screws out here. Okay, I mark this. The way this works is on this side of the gear, let me show you. On this side of the gear there's an R, on that side of the gear there's an L. And that means if you want it to park on the left side of the windshield wiper or the white on the right side of the windshield wiper. What you do is you put this plate in here and then whether you want it to be a 90 degrees or, or you know, 130 degrees, whatever degree you want the wiper motor to run back and forth, you put over the slot that, uh, if you want it to, like, if I, I'm going to have mine do 90. I'm going to put the 90 over the L because I want it to park on the left side of the windshield. So let's move the 90 right there, right over the yellow side. And that's as close as I can get it there, so let's just do that. Right there. And then we'll put those two screws back in. So when this windshield wiper motor parks, it will park on the left side. Okay, now we're going to put this arm back on and we're going to put this arm in the 90 hole right there right there so we've set it for left side park and for a 90 degree sweep there we go Okay, we're going to put the gasket back on, which has got the cut out for there. Put the plate back on. Start my screws. Alright, let's talk about the wires here for a minute. Obviously the G, the G stands for ground, which I got a little terminal on the end for ground. 
He goes wires one, two, and three. Wire one, when it's energized, that's when it energizes the motor to go to park. Whether you've got a parking left side windshield, right side of windshield. When this is energized, it's park. When number two is energized, it's for low speed. Number three is energized for high speed. Now, I'm going to have to go ahead and buy an, a, a, the switch that operates this because you're going to need a switch that ener it energizes this one for when you shut it off so it parks in the correct spot. So, anyhow, that's done. We're just working on getting this part installed first. Okay, this, this wiper motor here is, uh, once I put the gaskets and everything on there, it's, the, the arm doesn't clear this fancy, this, uh, this piece here. So, okay, I put this block here. I'm thinking that that's going to be far enough that, that this will clear this trim work. So, we'll see. Alright, I'm going to put this in here. Get that started. And then, we got this loose where it extends. So, we're probably going to have to change that from 90 to 80. Let's see how far we can get, because we can only get... There. Turn this in a little. Go about there. Oh, that's Let me put my test wiper on here. No need to break in the arm and the wiper. Let's, let's test it and see how it does. Remember, we set this for 90, so let's see what happens. We must be, must be a right side. What do you think of that? Okay, we'll get our screw in there. That looks pretty good. I'm probably going to change this to left side park, but I thought I had a left side park, but it ends up being right side park. But I don't think right side would be that bad anyhow. Alright, there it is. 
Let's give it a try and see how it works. There's a project well done. Um, as you've seen, I, when I set that dial, I turned it to where I thought I was turning it to left park, and it was actually on right park. So that would be something you want to keep an eye on when you're doing that. Um, but uh, as it turns out, I think right park will be all right for right now. So we'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. If you like the comments, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and always keep watching. Stay safe on the water.